Um, question was asked earlier this week and uh, I wanted to spend a bit of, little bit of time and sort of walk through a couple of things to help explain how um, my answer that I gave to the query works um, and demonstrate that it does actually work. Um, one of the things, uh, well, the question was basically, this guy had an effect, and I've put this effect out here, I'm pretty sure it's not what he had, but um, it's an effect that changes over time. And what he wanted to do was he wanted to freeze the effect part way through. Um, and with something like a morph, obviously a morph always runs through to completion. So whatever the morph is runs all the way out and, and fades away at the end. Um, but what he wanted to do was he wanted it to the morph to occur and then part way through he wanted to basically freeze and hold the morph in its current state um, on the screen and couldn't come up with a way of doing it. Um, and look, to be honest, it hasn't actually been that possible for that long, but there's a couple of things that you need to exploit to make this work. The first one's actually been around for quite a long time. If you've got an effect, um, in this case, let's just throw a butterfly down. Uh, one of the things that you can do with an effect is you can you can extend it um, and at the end and, and make it hold. Um, and this is done using, in this case, the off effect. If I drag it there, I don't think I actually dragged it. And as long as you butt the off effect harder up against the previous effect, and if you set the persistent uh, setting up here and you set it to transparent, the off effect will actually hold the last frame of the previous effect. So no matter what effect I drop here at the beginning, whatever the last frame looks like, the off effect here is gonna hold it. And so that's how we're going to hold the effect in place. And so what we'll do is we'll drag this over to here somewhere and we'll place it there. Now, as you can see, the off effect here is not holding anything, it's not even holding blackness. And the reason that's happening is because we've got a blend style here of normal and back here there was nothing underneath, so it made no difference. So what I need to do is up here, I need to change this blend style to effect one. And that stops it inheriting anything from underneath the effect. Now, that's all well and good. So we know that this effect here is gonna hold the state of whatever comes before it. But how do I snapshot the state of the morph underneath here so that instead of going black as it's about to when it hits that off effect, um, that it actually, um, sorry, I wanna make sure it's in the right place. So something's interesting happening maybe before that morph gets all the way across the screen. Um, so that you can see it snapshot it. There it goes. So it's gonna turn off with the, the morph up here. All right, so how do we snapshot the effect? And the answer is, is we use another off effect. Now, because we want to snapshot it, we actually are gonna make this effect incredibly short, literally one frame. Uh, we are going to make it transparent, so it lets the effect come through from underneath. So that's what the, the snapshotted effect is going to look like. Um, and so that's all well and good. But if I come back here, this is still black. So although this effect looks like this, the black here hasn't captured it and sustained it. And the reason for that is because although the effect is there and it's black, it's transparent, because it's transparent, this is not actually what the black effect is producing. This is actually what's being produced by the layers underneath. And the only reason it looks like it's frozen in time is because this effect is only one frame long. So in order for this effect to actually inherit the underlying layers, we actually need to turn on the canvas mode. And when we turn on the canvas mode, it will render these lower layers and it will hold that in that particular effect. So when we come over here to the sustain mode, it has actually sustained the effect in that mode. So now when we run the whole effect, it comes up and it freezes 
and holds it in place and eventually it expires and it continued as if the freeze hadn't been in place. So yeah, um, with a couple of off effects and the appropriate settings, you can choose to freeze a, um, an underlying effect in place at a particular time. It's a pretty unusual set of um, combination of effects and layers. Um, and consequently, I thought it was worthwhile just making a short video so people can understand it. So remembering it again, I've got a couple of layers at the bottom which are doing the interesting effect. I've got a single frame uh, off effect which is set as transparent. It's set as transparent because we don't want the off effect to overwrite the data from underneath. It's set as a canvas mode because we want it to actually grab a copy of the data from the underlying layers. Um, and that needs to happen for one frame. And then we have the sustain off effect, which again is transparent. This time it's effect one. And what effect one means is it's going to hide any of the layers underneath it because we don't want to see any of the layers underneath it because that amorph is going to still be happening and that liquid effect is still going to be throwing particles into the simulation. We don't want that. So we, we set it to transparent. We set it to effect one so we can only see the off effect and then we set the persistent tag to tell it to copy what happened in that prior frame, which was when we snapshotted what was actually happening on the effects underneath. Hope you learned something guys. Thanks. Mm -hmm.